In this video, we're going to look at something called a project interchange file or a PI file. This is the way you import and export lots of basically your application into and out of IIB or IBM Internet and <laughs> integration bus. And the whole point here is to grab many, many, many files quickly to get them in and out. Let's take a look at what that is in practice. So if I have a series of files here, now I'm in the navigator view, so I want to go to the application development view. And remember, you can do that if you go to the show view uh, area and you go to application development. And if you want the project navigator, you would locate the other project you know, navigator. You could type in navigator, for example, here, and you'd see it appear under general navigator. In our case, we want to go to the application development tab because here you'll see an option for under file and then import and export these PI or project interchange files. So here we go. If I wanted to import, I would select this and then I would locate the file. This is just a zip file. So you locate that and then you plug it in. Now, once you have done that, the file will then be imported, basically expanded out in essentially the same way. So you get your application listed here, any libraries that were included in that, and any independent resources also included. And, and just to see exactly what I'm talking about, I've already gone ahead and created, I've gone file export, and I've selected project interchange. If you open up the zip file, so that's all I've done here, I've just double clicked on my zip file, you can compare the contents here with what you see on the left. So you see the generated bar files. Notice you have a dot project. We talked already in a previous video about projects and packages. And you can see the contents of these, um, you know, these files. There's the project file, of course. And you see the Java create customer. In this case, that's my application. And then there's a Java piece that goes along with that. And of course, that's a package. So that's separate. It's, it is on the operating system. It is saved as a separate directory with a series of files and that's why it's set separately here so you see the two they always by default will go together so you whatever the name of your application is and then Java will be appended to that and actually although you don't see it specifically here you can locate it by opening up your application going down to Java and then sure enough here it is and notice too that it is a reference that's what this arrow is to Java create customer Java and with the Java expanded on uh, added to the end and then separately any libraries so here's my lib and that's here it matches as you can tell and then that my lib also comes with a java and so it has its own you know entry for that and remember we had talked earlier in the package versus projects video that there is a separation the distinction between a project and a package and the dot project we had said that they were packages and projects are sort of a logic, especially projects, are logical representations. And that's why if I right click on flows, for example, there's no properties. Because that's set up logically through or, and then shown as a folder through Eclipse. And the information to do all of that is located in these, you know, dot project files and other dot files that you'll see um, scattered throughout these, uh, through these files. Now, the one thing you don't see here is an independent resource, and I said earlier that they, you, would in, you would see that included, but in fact, um, it, you won't see anything called an independent resource there, again, because it's a logical representation. There's no properties thing to click on, uh, option to click on, but the generated bar files are, are here in this folder. And of course, because this is a zip file, all you have to do is zip, is create it, and you can email it to somebody, and someone else can open it. So this is a uh, a PI file is a project interchange file that lets you move or copy your projects around, and and not just projects, but really your applications and the work you're doing in IIB to other people, and also receive them from other people. 